Pulse. What's going on guys? I'm Justin Swanstrom. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We are back here in the house again today. I have a set of 700 pound per hour injectors right here. There's actually two sets. This is what will be going inside the Lexus over at Cameron Johnson Race Cars. Um, Proline Racing, the Hemi Motors, this is all what they run. I had to order these from Jack at Atomizer uh, Injectors about, I don't know, a month and a half ago. They already, they've already been sitting here, been waiting until I get the car and everything home, and then we'll go ahead and install them. Well, if you've seen previous videos, you've seen when we were up there at TKM, Kevin Mullen's shop, and we were having problems with the fuel injectors on Twisted T. Same atomizer injectors, but they're 500 instead of 700s. So uh, we decided to put them on Kevin's uh, little flow bench. Uh, I don't know the exact name for them, but it was basically showing us that we had injectors that were clogged up, had material inside them, some kind of trash, and wasn't allowing fuel to get down to the motor. So when I got home, I went ahead and just ordered my own machine because instead of sending these back all the way to Jack to have him go through them, it'd be better for me and my dad just to go through them here at the house. So we have this box down here. Um, it's an auto fuel injector tester and cleaner. We will be unboxing that in this video here in a minute. We got our fluid inside here. We got our two sets of injectors. We're gonna put them inside the machine. We're gonna see how it works. I've never actually done nothing like this. So I really don't know a whole lot about it. So I'm gonna be learning just like y'all are learning. Let's go ahead and jump into today's video. I also get asked what I shoot with. Uh, a lot of times I'm shooting either with my cell phone or a GoPro Hero 9, but I did just get this brand new camera in and we're able to get a lot more footage now. We got the wireless mics. We will be using that in this video as well. And maybe you'll be able to hear the difference in the audio from the uh, Hero 9 right now excuse me, the Hero 9 right now that we're using and then when we're using the mics that go on to uh, uh, our camera over here. So we'll be shooting with both cameras today. Check that bad boy out. We're gonna be able to get all the footage at the racetrack. I'm in my little office right now, my little podcast room. We'll be coming out with the podcast here soon. Uh, just falling behind on a lot of stuff, but we're getting after it. All right, guys, so I got my buddy Kyle over here. He's going to be helping us out with the video right there. How you guys doing? Um, right now, we're going to be shooting. This is a Sony PXW-Z150. This is the new camera that we got um, to be able to bring to the channel, to be able to bring a lot more footage from pranks uh, to being at the racetrack, stuff around with the family. But I got Kyle here right now. Uh, he's going to actually help us unbox this deal. He's a little anxious to get inside there. He's already cut the stuff off. Well, that's pretty cool. I want to see how it works. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, let's open that up real fast. We'll, uh, we'll get it out and we'll actually put it up on the table and then we're going to have to read the instructions so we don't know exactly how it goes together. So. Cable. There's a lot of stuff to it. Yeah. I thought it. I thought it already came together. I mean, it's mostly. I <laughs> say it's about seventy percent together. That's what it looks like. Ah. You might have to hold the bottom of the box. You gonna read the instructions? I mean, we're gonna trace them. We're gonna glance at them. I think you just put it together. Yeah, it's easy out there. We're also going uh, racing tonight over at uh, Sunshine. Uh, Dad's on the other side of the house right now. He's uh, he's actually building a tune-up for Twisted T. Got John Doc coming down from North Carolina. He'll be there. There's gonna be a lot of fast, heavy hitters over there running for uh, $10,000 from the shootout tonight. So that's gonna be pretty. That'll be pretty fun. Go ahead and grab that. So this deal here. Right. I've seen Kevin do a pretty cool setup. I think we probably just made a good pair of fittings to fit down with him. We definitely won't have to at least trace it. Yeah, we're going to have to read something. We're going to We don't care about the safety one. They did a good job of uh, wrapping this thing up. Yeah. What 
how these things go in there. That's a great question. I wonder how he may be cooking at home. You found no kind of instruction that look, 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 there it is, right there. I've been looking at it the whole time. So, so look, look, we're getting somewhere now. Yeah, look, 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 right there on top. This looks like this is going to go down in here. Look, 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 we're, we're getting somewhere. Yep. We're going to need some kind of pressure wrench. Right? Yeah, I don't think hand ties can work. We'll go ahead and get the right stuff to tighten that stuff down here in a little bit. But, so. You got everything? Come with? Yeah, right there. I don't see no gauge. I don't need maybe anything about that's the gauge. Ah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> that's the gauge. All right, guys, so me and Kyle, um, we were looking through the instructions. We uh, came to the conclusion when you don't know nothing, you just go to YouTube, right? When in doubt. Yeah, YouTube it out. So uh, we went on YouTube. We typed in uh, all tool CT200. That's what this machine is. And it basically told us what everything is, what all the parts are here. Uh, so we're actually putting the injectors in right now. We're going to go ahead and test all six at one time. So let's go ahead and knock these two in. Once we knock them in, um, then we'll go ahead and put them on the machine and, and keep going along with the process. I'm hoping the, uh, the wireless mics are working good. Audio good, all that kind of stuff. I'd like to be able to bring y'all more content this way. Man, that was quite difficult right there. Alright, so I said you put them in, make sure they're straight. Gotta make sure we take the Deals off the back side. Kyle, you're supposed to take these off. I took the top off. I did good. I don't understand why you'd half ass something. You whole ass everything. It's my day off. Shout out Wilson Diesel. Don't half ass someone. <laughs> something. Whole ass everything. I love that guy. It's my day off. Leave me alone. Alright, we're gonna stick them bad boys up in there. Ooh, look at that. We'll go ahead and uh, lock our things down. Looks like we know what we're doing. What? Alright, now we got that in there. Let's go ahead and hook up our hose. I know I should be using a Crescent wrench or a 916 wrench, but all we got is a pair of pliers. Got stuff hooked up. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, pull our injector cleaner out. Uh, I don't even actually remember what I ordered, but uh, that happens a lot. But uh, it's just basically an injector cleaner. Uh, gives me, it says, a clogged injector and an unclogged injector, so uh, it is flammable. We're going to go ahead and fill it up in here. We need to read up on the instructions a little bit more. I'm not 100% sure how much fluid is supposed to be inside this. But we'll find out in a minute. Or we can just pour it in. Voila. Magic. He's a rainy man. Hallelujah, is a rainy moon. I wonder what this piece up here is for. God damn, look at that. He scratched the damn thing. He's a little shit fire. <laughs> what a shame. That goes there. I 
mean I have enough glue to do this? I think that'd be a shame. This would be a shit ass video. see this thing. I'm not sure if this sticker is supposed to come off or it's not. Dex! Looks like ice cream to me. Uh, Alright, so we'll go to number four. Fire away, I guess. So this right here is just a an uh, a sonic test. We'll let it drain out. Just trying to see how this thing works, boys. Um, accelerating test, shifting speed test, leak, leak checking test. Uh, let's do uh, let's do an accelerating test. See how accurate that thing is? They're both at 70, identical. And then we release the fluid. So oh, that's crazy. Let's go ahead and uh, flop over another one. I don't know how much fluid actually goes in here and I can't really see it on the test deal over here, boys. And I know I gotta get more fluid, but let's see if we can add a third injector on and see if we can, uh, see this so instead of us sending it all the way back to uh, jack and my atomizer we're actually able to just come in here test our injectors out see if they got any kind of trash in them if we're able to clean them out they do make tools and stuff to be able to clean them um but uh i feel this is a lot better than right Kyle? Yeah. than having to send it off ship it and everything so we're gonna go ahead and do the same test again let's lock it out let's see uh let's see what it does Identical 50. It's just because I don't have enough fluid inside there. Hell yeah. Shout out to Atomizer. Go ahead and uh, show you all the nice little package they, they give us. Bring them all in. Look at that right there. Check that out. Best injectors on the market. The mark as the injectors we will be running behind uh, prenup the street out all no prep king's car rvw is the same injector i run inside twisted t y'all need to get y'all set too um i can't remember exactly what i paid for these i think for 16 of them because twisted t we only run a single set of injectors fuel rails so we only have to run eight in the car but with these bigger type motors the hemis we have to run uh dual fuel rails so we run 16 injectors, but I think 16 of them was like 62 or $6,500. I can't remember exactly what I paid for them, um, but uh, they're, they're very well worth the money. Um, Jack takes care of a lot of people, and uh, I can't wait to actually put them down inside the car, go out there, bust these boys and girls in the mouth, not only on the No Prep King service, but on the radio tire service too. So that means a lot of y'all are in trouble here. In a few weeks, we're going to receive the car, got the second rear end. 
uh, built for the radial tire, getting another set of four link bars made, wishbone made, everything done. So we're able to take on each and every person. It don't matter what surface it is. No prep, street, radial prep, anything. So uh, let's go ahead and hook one more injector up. Let's see if it'll allow us to do that. Uh, we'll just basically just run out of fluid. And then we're gonna test out some other stuff as well. Maybe some different settings. I still need to read up on it and see exactly what, what we have to do. But, all right, let's go ahead and start it again. Bam. 30, straight across the board. Hell, I think we got enough fluid. Let's go ahead and uh, just drain that real quick. Let's hook up the other two. I think we should hook up the other two, Kyle. Yeah, yeah, might as well. We got four of them that are identical. I knew they'd be good because they came from Jack himself, um, but I just wanted to test them. One, show y'all the new piece of uh, equipment that we have. Uh, we'll have this at the house probably after every race. Um, I'll go ahead and take the injectors out. We'll make sure there's no trash. We'll clean out the fuel system. One thing that I have noticed with the alcohol and the boost side of the cars is that you have to make sure everything is spotless. It's not something that we had to do with the nitrous stuff. Um, the screens and everything, they're a lot more finer. I can tell you the injectors, they're a lot finer. It doesn't take much to be able to uh, go through and put any kind of trash in there and cut off all fuel going to the motor. All right, one, excuse me, one, two, three. Twenty two, twenty two, twenty two, twenty two, twenty two, and twenty two. What? Check that out, Kyle. Can you see that? Can you see that with the new camera? Yes, you can. Let me see. I don't know. We can see. Look at that. New camera is off the chain, man. So I'm going to go ahead. Now that we got all that, we know everything's working. Um, I will get more fluid for one inside there and two for down in here. You're able to uh, clean off the injectors and everything. Let's go ahead and release that and let's see what other. Uh, what other actual functioning menu we have? Uh, let's see what ultrasonic cleaning does. Let's let all those drain out, boys. Ready? I don't know what it does, that's why I stopped it. Maybe that's for the tray. The ultrasonic. Oh, it hit. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Ain't that that magnetic thing you're talking about? Yeah, hold on, hold on. I actually, actually, guys, I need y'all to come look at this real quick. So we'll go ahead and bring the camera over here real fast. Check this out. We need some fluid down inside there, but. So that happened over at uh, TKM. Um, Kevin showed me about it. And actually, Kyle, I want you to hold the camera again so I can explain this. Um, we're new with the camera and uh, the microphone, boys. We'll get better, I promise. But uh, so basically, you fill this up with your injector cleaner and uh, it puts an ultrasonic wave through, I guess, this little piece of tray, um, machine, and everything. And it basically breaks up the trash inside your injector which allows it to be cleaned out. Then you put it inside here and you go ahead and clean it out. We weren't able to accomplish that up there. We just had so much trash and so much aluminum down inside our injectors. So we had to send those back to Jack. Jack hooked me up. He went ahead and overnight shipped them back, got it back out, twist the teeth out there running like phenomenal right now. Um, can't wait to actually tell you all the times. Like I said in the beginning of the video, those are coming soon. So uh, a lot of people have been seeing the car run on the track. It's getting faster and faster every pass, big country. He's putting the tune up in it. I'm getting a lot more comfortable inside the car, uh, being able to run it, race it, everything. I'm having fun with it. I can't wait to get behind prenup. That's another boost car that we have. And trust me, it's got the best of the best. It's gonna make the most horsepower. And I guarantee we are gonna be number one soon enough. Just wait. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, change over. So I know what that one does. We got idle testing. We got medium, 
speed test, high speed test, accelerating test, shifting speed test, leak checking test, um, idle spray value, medium spray value, high speed, uh, high speed spray value, reverse flushing, and uh, no disassembly cleaning. I say you, I say you leave two of them hooked up and do high speed. See if that does anything. Yeah, the six of them I think it's gonna be good. You ain't got enough fluid. Yeah, you ain't got enough fluid inside there. But ain't that what you do? Go high speed. Yeah, yeah, I run fast. <laughs> I run super, super fast. Mm. I'm, I'm so fast. Y'all didn't even see that. Y'all want me to do it again for you? Yeah, one more time. I'll zoom it out for him. Oh, what? No, what? Feet, feet are back to normal. Tony, I ain't even nothing to play with. <laughs> nothing. All right, so we want to do high speed test. So we go to number four. Right. I'm not sure exactly what it's going to do, so let's go ahead and just do it real fast. Nice. Just filling it up. Let's stop it right there. All right, so one's reading 122, the other one's reading 120. That is a high speed test. We already know what accelerating test is. Let's go to uh, let's go to shifting speed test. You could pause it, hit play, you know, like soundtrack. Ain't that what they do in California? Or no, not California, Carolina, Carolina. Oh, shit. Damn. Pause that thing. That was the shift. Yeah. Shifted high gear. Check that out. That's pretty damn cool. Dude, I'm excited for this thing. I, I want to play with it a little more. Uh, we'll do one more test for y'all, and then we're going to go ahead and end this video out. We're not going to make it too long. I just wanted to show you the new thing that we got for the machine. I um, wonder what leak check test does. We got no leaks. I said, I think it passed. Passed. It passed the leak test. Um, seven, number eight is idle spray value test. Pause. Pause. Oh yeah. So, we don't need to do reverse flushing because we got to flip those upside down if we want to do that. But we got no leaks. All the injectors are working. The tool works. Tool works. Um, any other one do you want to test out? Let's do idle testing. Let's just see what that one is. We'll finish that one out with this one right here, boys. Idle testing. Lock our tray down. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and finish this video out. Um, we did have one injector. That's where we were getting some bad readings. Something going on with uh, this tube right here. It was kind of holding fluid at the bottom. That's why the levels were a little bit off. So we went ahead and we flopped it over, and it's reading fine. So end all be all, good video, great product right here. Atomizer injectors, great injectors. I uh, can't wait to get them down inside the Hemi motors to be able to... Uh, 
go out there and kick these boys and girls in the mouth. My brand new motor from ProLine, they've already reached out to me. It's supposed to be here May 1st. Cameron's already built everything, headers and all that for the engine that's in the car right now. We will be possibly selling that or keeping it as a spare. Don't know it yet, but uh, May 1st, my new engine gets here. The latest and greatest, best of the best stuff. The stuff that I just went 349 with in the 8th mile uh, for Radio First World. I will have the same exact equipment. So we'll be able to be out there and uh, hopefully run up front with everybody else. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and end this thing out. If y'all need injectors for y'all's uh, fuel injection, hit up Atomizer Injectors. They got great stuff. Jack and the crew there, uh, Alyssa and them. They are awesome people to deal with. Um, I have no complaints about nothing. Anything that I do have a problem with, I send Jack a text, send a list of texts, they hit me up immediately. Great, great product right here. Uh, glad that I got it. I'm glad that I seen it over at Kevin's shop. So now we're able to test our injectors here to make sure that there is not one trash in it or one's not holding something bad is going on. So it's actually cool to have uh, this thing machine, everything, the whole setup, I think was like $700. Um, so throughout the year to be able to test them instead of sending them back, it's going to pay for itself. So I'm glad I got it. I do need to get some more fluid. So we're able to test all six out at once. And uh, I'm not even going to open up the other box. I know these are good. I know those are good. Coming from Jack and them, make sure they're going to make sure that their customers have the best of the best. So anyways, guys, I'm Justin Swanstrom. That's the end of this video. Uh, we're trying to bring more content and get more cameras. I got my brother and them coming on the channel next week. We're going to have a lot more fun. Mama Country, we're heading out to uh, St. Pete International right now. Uh, it's called Sunshine Drag Strip. We're going to go ahead and run for the $10,000 shootout. Maybe we'll get John Doc in a little grudge race. We're going to see how that goes out. I heard he's bringing All right, I apologize, guys. We have a little problem. Uh, batteries went dead on the mic, so it's something I'm learning. I, this is my first time doing this with this setup. So it, it seems to be working good, uh, but the batteries did go dead. But anyways, like I was saying, um, we are going to try to get a grudge race with John Doc. We'll see if he wants to do something. Uh, we're going over there. We're running a little small tire shootout, taking Twisted Tea. Going to be trying to go up against these big bad wolves, uh, these bears around here in Florida. Try to see if we can either uh, pull off a lucky win or try to get a couple grudge races in. But uh, make sure y'all head over to the website, guys, uh, www.justinswanstrom69.com. You can catch it in the description down below. We got new merchandise. You got shirts. We got hats. We got four new designs on the website, guys. We got two mini designs coming out this year, and I'm going to try to bring out new designs every month. Prenup is coming. Twisted Tea is running good right now. We got some cool stuff happening for the channel, but we can't do it without y'all. So let's go ahead and keep on building this channel. Keep getting it bigger. Keep getting it better. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, boys. I'm Justin Swanstrom, and I'm going to see y'all at the next video. Thank you.